Now, Jimmy, the SRX 800 range from JBL are the new top-of-the-line powered boxes from the manufacturer, and we've got an SRX 815P here on the table. Yes, we do, Jason. It's a uh, 15 and horn. Uh, frequency response is stated at uh, 44 hertz to 20 kilohertz. That's mm -hmm. from the minus 3 dB points. Mm -hmm. um, its uh, power rating is 2,000 watts peak. Uh, those are all numbers. Mm -hmm. What do they mean? Look, <laughs> forget the numbers. This thing sounds yep. really good. It's got some serious balls, and mm -hmm. um, I really like it. Yeah, look, it's, uh, as you put it, reassuringly hefty. It is reassuringly mm. hefty indeed at 28 point something mm. kilograms. Uh, it's not quite a two-person job to get it onto a stand, but that would make it easier. Mm. There's handles everywhere all over mm. the thing. There's top hat mounts. Um, there's M10 flying mm. points. We've got dual inputs, independent level control on each of those. You can con choose consumer line as in... Mm. Pro line mm. or even mic level in. Um, we've got a master volume level and we've got an Ethercon connector. What's that about? Ah, we do. Well, there's an app for that. So, using your trusty iPad, uh, you can connect your app, you can load presets, save presets, you can do all your EQ, compression, delay, if you're using it as a delay fill or something like that. Yeah, the mm. um, the app's quite cool. It's designed if, if you're using multiple SRX 800 cabinets, um, you can essentially build your system before you even get to the venue and you can say I'm going to use the 815s as my mains and I'm going to use uh, whatever kind of sub and you can just drag and drop things into the configuration. Uh, if you set them up as delays or, or fills for instance you can then add delay. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got you know, an 8 or a 10 band EQ, you've got various other, um, compression options uh, and it's just a it's a good little app now mm. in addition to that if you go in through audio architect which is mm. uh, a pc based app far more advanced designed for controlling things like the bss blue range mm. um, then you can go through and do things like saving eq presets within the speaker so if mm. you go to one venue a lot you've got an eq preset you like store it in the speaker mm. and then you can just dial it up from the back panel using the rotary encoder on the menu mm, it's pretty exactly. simple look the most important thing for me about this is how it sounds it is big and it is honest you feel equally comfortable running live you know band live mixing through it as uh, you would dj now a lot of powered boxes i find down the flimsier end of the range you yeah. kind of be happy doing one and maybe not the other mm. this does both and it Goes. And it you can smash some the wall. serious level into this thing and it doesn't fall to bits right. and go horrible and ugly. No like weird so limiting. DJ no. systems yeah. I've seen at weddings. Yeah, it's got lots and lots of headroom and it feels like a, you know, less like a portable self-powered box than a proper PA. Yeah, if you stuck a pair of these on top of a pair of subs from mm -hmm. the same range, you would have a stinking great big PA. Yeah, you would. You could do pretty much anything with it. Yeah, mm. I like it. It's the SRX 800 range. Jace, what do you think? You approve? Yes. Heartily approve. Very much so. Excellent. Mm. Thanks very much for watching the review. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and uh, share us with your friends. We'll see you next time.